special on Come Money Never Wakes. He's going to be at the Gramercy Theater November 11th. Please give it up for Nathan McIntosh! <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, hi, everybody, hi. Crazy night, huh? I just, uh, I just noticed there's a, uh, there's a cigarette butt up here. And uh, I am willing to sell this cigarette butt <laughs> to the highest bidder in the room. We're starting at $25,000. People would buy that. Have you seen this? People would buy that for sure, you know? The world is a weird place. Chappelle, Chappelle smoked cigarette butt, eBay. I, want, I wonder where it would end up. Some weird collector, some guy with like a shrunken head and a fucking weird hand, you know? Has a whole bunch of shit. He's got like the elephant man bones and some Ferris wheel that fucking rips some people apart or whatever, you know? You guys are right. I've taken this as far as I could possibly take it. You guys are right. Riffs, riffs have a shelf life and it just, it fell apart. Um, I, uh, I, like, uh, I like being in New York. What a party, you know what I mean? This is a great city. This is the world's greatest city. Uh, yeah, if you wanna watch, if you wanna watch a rat smoke a cigarette just like this, this is the, this is the best city. If you wanna watch a roach fucking surf pizza onto the train. You wanna watch a guy maybe bite somebody down there, just, just standing by the bar, like waiting for somebody to fall asleep so you can slowly eat their face. You know what I like about the crazy people on the train? For some reason, they always know where they're going. It's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're completely insane. They're covered in meat and they're like, Times Square, that's me, and get off. And How the fuck do you know where you're going? I apologize. I kicked this, uh, I kicked this lady. I went like this. I didn't know, you, I didn't know your feet were on the stage. Cow, cowboy boots, what, where, where, where are you from? Guess? Moving the fuck on! Oh, yes! Ha! Ha! I swear to you guys, this is one reason I could never date again in my life, ever. If I ever went on a date with any woman, I asked her anything. Yes! Good day to you, madam. Hope you enjoy your cats! I'm not guessing things I pay tax! <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna assume not here though. That's the one guess I'll make, not New York. But this place is great. I'm not originally from here either. There's a lot of things people don't tell you about this city, you know? They just let you figure them out on your own. One of those is if you're waiting for the subway and one pulls up with seven full cars and one empty car, do not get on that empty car. I made that mistake. I went downstairs, seven full cars, one empty car. I, I, I was like, oh sweet, this is my lucky day, you know? And I, I got on and there was just one man on the car. Just one man eating a pigeon. Just one guy. Just one guy sucking the eyes out of a bird. Do you know there's nobody in this city that will stop you from getting on that car? No, nobody leans out of the other cars like, there's a reason, man, don't do it. If anything, get on top of the train. Nobody does that. People just stand there and they watch you. They start tapping people beside them like, look, 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 look. You get on, the doors close, they start hitting each other. He got on with the pigeon man! People from New York love to see people not from here have an awful day, you know? Makes all this rent worth paying. It's so expensive, you know? Every single year, the rent goes up for no real reason at all. Nothing. Every year, a landlord knocks at your door and is like, wow, you're still living in there? <laughs> Guess we made last year too easy for you, huh? They, they should really change the slogan of this city, be like, if you can make it here, you could own land in a lot of other places, you know? <laughs> you could add a house and a boat and a real family. Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> and then you ask people and they're like, well, the pizza's good. I, I, <laughs> I want to know where the pizza's that bad that this is the option, you know? Pizza's just bread, sauce, and cheese. It's hard to fuck it up. There's only two levels of pizza. Great and fine. I, I have never had a slice of pizza so bad that I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Everybody in this room has had microwave pizza. It's absolutely disgusting, but it's pretty good.
Tennessee. <laughs> Virginia. I kind of feel like that's cultural appropriation, if I'm being serious. <laughs> Virginia's got nothing to do with fucking cowboys and shit. Am I wrong? No. Thank you. <laughs> Kick her out. Kick her out. <laughs> I just love that everybody was like, no! No, no, I'm selling that. It's weird. I am, uh, I'm losing a lot of, I don't know if I'm gonna have a kid. Do you, do you guys have kids? Okay. <laughs> Why are you? You're from Austria. You can have kids in Austria, that's allowed. <laughs> Arnold's from Austria. Yeah, he, he was somebody, he might, he didn't have parents though, if we're being serious. Arnold just busted out of a fucking mountain and started lifting. <laughs> I'm gonna be a Terminator. Um, but, but you were saying they're from Austria, that's why I shouldn't talk to them? <laughs> or they, you're saying they're, they... Oh, got you, okay. But well, you did take over. You said that they don't... Yes. You're, what you're trying to say, let me translate for this guy. <laughs> what he's trying to say to me through, without talking to you, is that you don't know English. <laughs> so don't even bother with these fucking people. That's what he said. That was the tone and everything. He was like, they're from Austria, don't even worry about it, man. They're gonna speak Austin or something. <laughs> Bleep, bloop, blah, or whatever they say. Um, but all right, I won't, I, won't, I won't talk to anybody here now. Everybody in this crowd is um, untalkable too. I, I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna have kids. I'm losing a lot of friends. Uh, everybody I know is having a baby, you know what I mean? I'm losing a lot of friends to babies. And I, I, should, actually say, I should actually say I'm losing city friends, you know? I, I'm getting my small town friends back because all their kids are now 18. People, <laughs> people in small towns just have kids way younger and I think, it, I think they just get bored, you know what I mean? People in a small town, they wake up one day and look at each other, they go, look, I don't know. You wanna go see the trees again? They're like, look, we've already seen the trees, okay? We counted them, we measured them. We're like, well, we can make new people and show them the trees, and they do. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to have a kid. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm ready to have a kid. You guys don't have kids, right? I don't think I'm ready to have a kid. My mom has also called me and told me not to, which is <laughs> strange conversation to have with your mom, you know? My mom has called me, be like, don't have kids, they ruin your life. I'm like, do you know who you're talking to right now? <laughs> One of the ones that you made, you know? There's a lot of people that aren't ready to have a kid, right? So they get, they get a dog. It's like a training baby. And they call it a fur baby. And honest to God, if you call your dog a fur baby, do not have a skin baby because <laughs> you are not taking this seriously at all, you know? <laughs> Having a dog might be harder sometimes. I have a tiny, I got a tiny little chihuahua. <laughs> a fucking harsh laugh. <laughs> are you also from Virginia? <laughs> Big tough Virginia. We got cowboy boots and mastiffs. That's all we have. <laughs> I have a tiny little chihuahua and it's horrifying, okay? It's fucking horrifying. I don't know if anybody's ever walked a chihuahua. It's terrifying. Walking a chihuahua is like walking a carton of eggs. Any single thing can go wrong, you know? I gotta be on the lookout for other dogs, people, blowing leaves, everything. I don't think people pushing strollers are worried that a hawk is gonna come out of the sky and take their baby, but I have vivid thoughts about chopping a bird out of the air. Like, not today, Hawk. I just bought her that sweater, which is... Look, it's not a thing I'd ever thought I'd be doing myself, okay? I never thought I'd be buying a coat for a tiny little dog. I never thought I'd be in a store, like, pushing sweaters out of the way. Like, she'd never wear green. Just, I never thought that'd be happening. But you have to get clothes for a chihuahua, okay? Because if you take a chihuahua out in the cold without a coat, they die. They die, and now you're a maniac dragging a dead dog down the street. And people are like, what happened? You're like, what do you mean, what happened? She's supposed to be in Mexico. That's what happened. <laughs> My name is Ed the Mac Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.